get in. I don't think anyone predicted 3-0 to Manchester United. I certainly didn't. When I saw the team, though, I felt confident, and I changed my prediction on Twitter to 2-1, 2 United, but my official prediction was 1-1, and that was because I looked at Everton, looked at their form, they looked very, very good, and obviously, just coming back from an international break, I didn't think we'd kind of have the, the pace and energy that we showed, and like I said, it's so important for us to start well, and we did. Maybe we needed that 3-0 uh, loss against Arsenal. Like I said, someone to rip us apart in the first 30 minutes. So we get our act together and play football right from the start. That was some of the best attacking football I've seen this season from us. We just looked great on the counter-attack. So few changes in the squad. Schneidlin brought in. So we have Schneidlin, Schweinsteiger and Herrera who was brought in. They are the midfield trio. And whenever available and fit, I'm sorry, they have to play. Carrick... Um, Memphis, other players, right? They just have to like play off or just play, you know, in rotation. Like those three, when they are available, have to play. There's just no questions about it. It's stupid benching Herrera now. He's got a goal and an assist in this game, and he was influential. Smalling was my man of the match. To be honest, he, he just did so much work on Lukaku. It was unreal. Like, he was winning every header. And even, even when Lukaku did win the header or whatever, he was stood a yard behind just ready to poke the ball away or intercept. And it was fantastic to see. Martial was moved to left wing. And he seemed to have you know, such a good time against Seamus Goldman. Usually a very, very solid right back. But he was just run ragged by Martial. I mean, he could have scored late on where he dribbles through, I think it's Stones as well as Coleman, and uh, he tries to dink it over Howard, but Howard just gets a fingertip to it. He also could have had an assist right at the end. Lingard missed the ball, though, when he was subbed on. So, yeah, we started off well, as I say, and it's... Uh, is it from a corner? And eventually, you know, there's some debate. Is there a foul in the build-up? I'm not too sure. But anyway, it's great play. The ball finds its way to Schneidlin and literally just uh, he just slots it in for his first United goal. He did score in pre-season, but obviously that doesn't count. So, yeah, his first official Manchester United goal. Very, very happy. And, uh, yeah, one of the midfielders scored that had been brought in to this team, and that was brilliant. And the other one, Ando Herrera, scored about four minutes later. A fantastic ball from Rojo, showing why he should be the left-back when Luke Shaw is out injured. No one else should get that spot. Ashley Young, Daly Blind, no. It should be Rojo because he's good defensively, he's strong, tall, can head the ball, and he's got a lethal cross. Great cross. Herrera runs in like a good attacking midfielder should be doing, and he heads it in. I think that's eight shots out of ten on target. All right, obviously he's had other shots that are off target, but out of the ones that have went on target, eight of ten have went in. That is just unreal clinicality, a word that I've made up and I uh, pretty like. But anyway, later on we capitalise again. Uh, well, it's 2-0 at half time, and then straight after the half, Everton are kind of pushing back into it, and David De Gea's got to make some incredible saves. Everton must fucking hate that guy, honestly. He was man of the match against them last season. He made three key saves um, in this game. So, yeah, they must be sick of the sight of him. But anyway... We managed to get the ball and Herrera plays a great ball through to Rooney. Rooney's one-on-one -on -one and he scores for the first time in 17 away matches. That is a stupidly bad record for someone with Rooney's name and calibre, etc. So I'm very happy he did score. He could have had another one straight after. Um, Howard made a great save though. Ultimately, 3-0... Towards the end, probably flattered Everton, but I, I suppose because of David De Gea, uh, it probably, if David De Gea wasn't playing, I think we would have won 3 1 or 3 2. So I'm going to take this. It's a fantastic way to bounce back from an embarrassing 3 0 defeat against Arsenal. We got CSK away now, and uh, yeah, we, we subbed off Schweinsteiger, presumably to keep him fit. We brought on uh, Carrick. Lingard obviously got brought on for Mata. I think Mata might have a slight knock, so maybe Memphis will get brought in. And Martial. He just looks so composed wherever he plays. It doesn't matter that he hasn't scored in the last two games. He's been influential and he's been amazing. And even for France, he got man of the match and he got an assist and didn't score in that one. He just looks so composed. It's crazy. I'm delighted. The only negative, even though Rooney scored, he needs to be in the same kind of pace as the team. Like He just seems off it. Like So many of his first touches and 
or just poor and he, he slows down the play so hopefully he can improve hopefully this goal can give him some confidence because if it doesn't then he needs dropped and I think Martial should be pushed up for, uh, upfield and then have Memphis on the left but anyway this is getting on a bit 3-0 win back to second or third depending on the Arsenal result later I'm happy